Electric Body, Electric Mind, the Alpha Stim 100, a practical presentation of how to use the Alpha Stim 100 to control pain, treat anxiety, depression, and insomnia through mild electrical stimulation. Filmed on location at Hammond's Heart Institute at St. John's Regional Health Center in Springfield, Missouri, in cooperation with Electromedical Products International. Congratulations on your selection of the Alpha Stim 100 Microcurrent Electrical Therapy and Cranial Electrotherapy Stimulation Device. You have purchased a quality medical instrument. In so doing, you have already taken the first step to a more comfortable and rewarding life. The Alpha Stim 100 is a precision medical instrument used for the management of pain, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. This treatment is non-invasive and drug-free. The Alpha Stim 100 provides a welcome alternative to drugs, especially in disorders that require long-term management. Unlike some drugs, the Alpha Stim 100 leaves the mind alert. The dangerous side effects of drugs are avoided including accidental, intentional, and or suicidal overdosing. After treatment, there are usually no physical limitations imposed, so you can resume normal activities. The treatment is simple and can easily be self-administered at any time. People using the Alpha Stim 100 usually report a pleasant, relaxed feeling of well-being. The current is applied by easy-to-use self-adhesive electrodes or handheld probes for pain control or by ear clip electrodes for anxiety, depression, and insomnia. During a treatment, you may experience a mild tingling sensation as a result of the stimulating current flow. The Alpha Stim 100 may be categorized into two general categories, microcurrent electrical therapy or MET is a term used to describe a low-level current used for pain control applied through easy-to-use probes or self-adhesive electrodes. It is distinguished from previous forms of transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, TENS, in that MET uses far less current but delivers the current in much longer pulses. Whereas TENS devices must be constantly worn because they offer virtually no residual effect, MET effects are long-lasting and cumulative. The second category, represented by the application using the ear clip electrodes for anxiety, depression, and insomnia control, is known as Cranial Electrotherapy Stimulation, or CES. Modern science has established that there are extensive electrical fields at work in the body. The nervous system, for example, has long been known to work through both electrochemical and purely electrical signals. In fact, all molecules are held together by electrical bonding at the atomic level. This knowledge has led medical scientists such as Dr. Robert Becker of the USA and Dr. Bjorn Nordenstrom of Sweden, who served as chairman of the Nobel Assembly, to propose completely new theories of physiology based on bioelectrical control systems. Over the past few decades, technology has surpassed chemical analysis for the diagnostic side of medicine. With Alpha Stim technology, therapeutic intervention based on the new biophysics is finally emerging as a viable alternative to pharmacological management and surgery. The original Alpha Stim Model 2000, a sophisticated clinical device, weighed 40 pounds and cost 5,850 US dollars when it was first introduced in 1981. The Alpha Stim 100 microcurrent stimulator utilizes the most advanced technology available today. It is now possible in most cases to alleviate pain, anxiety, depression, and insomnia with far less current than traditional TENS uses and experience long-term and cumulative relief with as little as only a few minutes of treatment every other day. When used properly, we trust your new Alpha Stim 100 will help to control your pain, anxiety, depression, and insomnia and improve the quality of your life. Caution! The Alpha Stim 100 may affect the operation of cardiac pacemakers, particularly demand-type pacemakers. Do not stimulate directly on the eyes or over the carotid sinus, upper side of neck, below the ear, and behind the jaw. 
safety of stimulation has not been established during pregnancy. It is a good idea to clean the skin thoroughly around the treatment area before applying electrodes. Use mild soap and water and allow it to dry thoroughly. Don't forget to evaluate your pain before, from time to time, during and after each treatment. Your doctor can give you guidelines to help you do a quick, simple evaluation. This may consist of simply moving into a position that causes you to be more aware of your pain than noting the level of pain you are experiencing on a zero, no pain, to 10, maximum pain scale at the beginning and end of the treatment. Moving the affected body part through a range of motion and noting the increased range along with the decreased pain after treatment is also a good indicator of progress. Now, let us prepare the Alpha Stim 100. Insert the L-shaped plug of the electrode wire into the output receptacle on the Alpha Stim. The top receptacle is for channel 1, the bottom is for channel 2. Insert the pin jacks directly into the probes or into the wires coming off the self-adhesive electrodes. Push gently but firmly into place for a good connection. Frequency refers to the number of pulses per second measured in hertz. The frequency is set by adjusting the top two slide switches on the front of the unit. Generally, the only frequency you will ever need to use on the Alpha Stim 100 is 0.5 hertz. Sometimes 100 hertz is best for the initial treatment, first 30 seconds with probes or 3 to 5 minutes with self-adhesive electrodes, of joint pain accompanied by inflammation, such as arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, etc. 1.5 hertz is more effective than 0.5 hertz in some people, but this is rare. To begin with, just set channel 1 to the far left for 0.5 hertz, set channel 2 to the far right for the channel 1 setting and leave them there. To change the timer, slide the bottom switch in the front of the unit to the left or right. The amount of time needed to effectively manage your pain depends on the cause and severity of your pain, your overall health, and any ongoing physical or psychological stress that might make your condition worse. 10 or 20 minutes per self-adhesive electrode location is the recommended treatment time. Additional treatment time is usually not necessary, but will not do any harm. Some people will require one or more hours of treatment. The display will count backwards with all timers except continuous, represented by the symbol for infinity. Continuous counts forward. The probe timer on the right side of the switch counts backwards for 10 seconds, 9 to 0, while stimulating then counts for 2 seconds, 1 to 0, without generating any current, then repeats this cycle. This allows brief 10-second treatments of the problem through many different angles and is preferred by most doctors who use the Alpha Stim. An audible beep at the end of the active 10-second cycle is your cue to move the probes. During the active 10-second cycle, decide where you will move the probes next. If it takes more than two seconds to move them because you are moving hair out of the way or if you're re-wetting the felts, ignore one beep. In fact, it is a good idea to also get into the habit of always ignoring the first beep, so you don't have to even look at the LCD to determine an exact start time when using the probes. To change the intensity, use the dials located on both sides of the unit. The one on the left is for channel 1, the one on the right is for channel 2. The dial ranges from 0 to 6. Each number represents 100 microamperes, one is for 100 microamperes, two is for 200 microamperes, etc. One microampere is one millionth of an ampere, which is a measure of current. First, make sure the intensity dials are set at a low level, no more than two. Then turn the power on. The LCD will start to count down for all settings except continuous. After placing your electrodes, turn up the intensity very slowly most people can take the full amount of current, but some people are more sensitive and must use a lower current. When used on the head, immediately decrease the intensity if a tingling feeling under the electrodes becomes uncomfortable or if dizziness or nausea develops. 
This may happen when you turn up the intensity or several minutes later. Decreasing the intensity will immediately relieve any of these unpleasant feelings and they are not necessary for optimal effect. Treat at 6, 600 microamperes if possible. Because the Alpha Stim 100 uses such a low level of current, many people do not feel anything at all, even with the intensity set at the maximum level of 6. Do not be concerned if you cannot feel the current. This is perfectly normal and your perception of the current will not affect the results. Be sure you are using a good fresh battery such as the one provided with the unit. Replace the battery when the display indicates the battery is low. Once the display indicates the battery is flat, the Alpha Stim 100 will discontinue stimulation until a new battery is installed. Do not use a rechargeable battery. Where you place the probes or self-adhesive electrodes is the most important variable for optimum results. You must always use electrodes in pairs. If you are using both channels, you must use one pair for each channel. Peel the self-adhesive electrodes off of the protective backing and save the backing to store the electrodes after use. If the adhesive is drying out and the electrodes do not stick well, you may wet the electrodes by wetting your finger with water and lightly rubbing it over the electrode for just one second. Too much water will saturate them and actually shorten their life. Discard and replace electrodes when adhesive has split or worn through to the conductive backing. Use only Electro Medical Products International Astrode brand silver electrodes available through your authorized Alpha Stim distributor. Some electrodes are as much as 20 times less conductive and will not allow the Alpha Stim current to penetrate the skin resistance. There are only a few principles one must remember when treating pain with the Alpha Stim 100. You should be in a relaxed position to receive maximum beneficial effects. The most important variable is the position of the probes or self-adhesive astrode electrode pads. Always place the probes or astrode electrodes in such a way that if a line were drawn between them, that line would transect the problem area. Keep in mind that the body is three-dimensional. Therefore, there will be many possible ways to draw a line through the problem. Some lines will work much better than others. The correct electrode location is the one that works. However, the one that works may be transient, working well one day but ineffective another day. As the problem begins to resolve, the electrode locations may require constant adjustments. When using the probes, remember that you have two seconds to move them between every 10 seconds of treatment. Hold the probes perpendicular to the skin and press firmly to ensure good electrical conductivity. First treat in a large X manner over an area wider than the problem. An example of this would be to treat the whole back for back pain. This can be done by placing one probe on the right shoulder and the other on the left hip, followed by one on the left shoulder connected to the right hip. When appropriate, the entire head, arm or leg is also treated first before focusing in on the area of pain. After the large X, treat at various angles closer in and directly through the area of pain. An example of this strategy for knee pain would be to first make the large X by treating from the upper and inner thigh down to the outside of the leg near the ankle, then from the hip down to the inside leg near the ankle. Finish with smaller X's or think of it as making a star closer in, directly around the knee. You will have to experiment until the best electrode locations are found. One treatment set is about 6 to 10 of these 10 second stimulations, each at a different angle of approach. Therefore, one set should only take about 1 or 2 minutes. Reevaluate your pain and range of motion between each set. Think in terms of symmetry. Consider treating related areas located above, below, left and right. Treat both sides of your body. This is essential in head and back problems but treating the opposite side is also often helpful in arm and leg problems. Our natural tendency to protect a bad knee can cause problems to develop in the other knee. 
Treatment of the other good knee may be necessary to get any results or to increase the longevity of the results. Then it is helpful to connect the two knees. This is done by putting one of the probes or pads from a single channel on each knee and moving them around to a few different places. Often the pain will migrate as a response to therapy. Follow it. Use the same treatment strategy for the pain's new location. Do not place the electrodes too close together. For example, one right next to each side of the spine is not a good placement for back pain. In this two-dimensional example, the current will travel just under the surface of the skin to the other electrode and not penetrate to the area requiring treatment. Here, it would be better to put one probe next to the spine and the other on the opposite side of the body, on the side near the front. Then, move the probes to the other side after 10 seconds. Another possible electrode placement for back pain is to place one on each side of the body between the shoulders and the hips at the level of pain. Silver astrode self-adhesive electrodes are used following the same strategy as the probes, except longer. For optimum results, silver astrode electrodes must also be moved around the problem area, whereas the probes may be used for 10 seconds a site an equivalent procedure using astrode electrodes is to leave them at each location for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Some people require a full hour or more of stimulation daily. Accordingly, astrode electrodes are necessary. However, if brief stimulation works, do not continue treatment. Remember, more is not better when using alpha stim technology. Treating briefly with the probes is also a good way to determine optimal placement locations for longer treatment with the self-adhesive astrode electrodes. When using the probes, reevaluate your pain using the 0 to 10 scale after a few 1 to 2 minute treatment sets. For some simple problems, it is preferable to reevaluate after each set. Use the original criteria. Stop when the pain is completely gone or when the improvement has reached a plateau after several treatment sets. Continuing to treat the pain at this time may cause the pain to return. If the pain is gone, it is far better to stop treatment for that day, even if you only had one minute of treatment. If you can no longer identify any pain but feel stiff, this indicates that it is time to stop treatment for the day. The Alpha Stim will not reduce residual stiffness, Usually, post-pain stiffness will wear off by itself. When using the continuous or probe timers, you must turn the power off after use to avoid a slight drain on the battery. At the end of the 10, 20, and 60-minute timers, the Alpha Stim 100 will turn itself off automatically. Carefully replace the electrodes on their protective backing and put them back in the sealable bag they came in. If you're keeping a diary, Record your pain level now and note the time interval until the pain returns. While the Alpha Stim 100 is significantly efficacious when it is used correctly, greater than 25% improvement in signs and symptoms, in at least 90% of the people who use it for pain, anxiety and depression, and 80% for insomnia, it will not work for everyone. However, if pain relief is not immediate, consider treating the primary area of pain at a lower intensity setting of 1 to 2, 100 to 200 microamperes, with astrode electrodes for 60 minutes or more. If necessary, it can be used all day. 1.5 Hz may produce better results in some people when the 0.5 Hz fails, but this is rare. It may also be necessary to treat all areas of pain anywhere on the body in order to get results. The following sample protocols are guidelines for alpha stim treatment. These are actually examples of the same strategy applied to different parts of the body. In actual practice, one set of probe treatments will average about one or two minutes, although it takes considerably longer with self-adhesive astrode electrodes, the same strategy applies for determining where to treat. Keep in mind that the strategy is to visualize a line between the probes going right through the part of your body in pain. Place the probes on opposite sides of the body, such as front and back for back pain. As in every other area of life, there is a learning curve. Be creative 
and have fun with your new and powerful tool to keep your pain under control. Remember to rate your pain on a 0 to 10 scale before and every one or two minutes throughout the treatment with the probes. Stop when your pain is gone, or if it has decreased but you do not feel any further improvement after an additional two minutes of using the probes. Also, note improvements in range of motion and any other signs and symptoms. It is almost always best to use the Alpha Stim at 0.5 Hz at the maximum comfortable intensity, usually 6 for the probes. Wet the felt electrodes frequently using Alpha Conducting Solution. If astrodes are used for an extended period of time, more than one hour, use a minimum amount of current, but not less than 1, 100 microamperes. Augmenting the pain treatment with CES directly following the pain treatment can reinforce and prolong the effects of a pain treatment. Head pain. Include the temporomandibular joint, neck and shoulders, as these are all interconnected. Treat above the ear to the tip of the opposite shoulder. Reverse sides so that you can make a large X sideways across the whole head. Treat from the forehead above the eyebrow to the opposite side of the back near the neck. Reverse sides for a front to back X. Another X pattern across the back of the neck. One probe on each temporomandibular joint, TMJ. The TMJ is located just in front of the ear. You can feel the depression of the joint when you open and close the mouth. Treat from the temple, located on the side of the forehead, to the masseter muscle at the angle of the jaw. Now treat the same way on the other side of the face. Complete one minute through the area of pain. Treating behind the eyes will cause you to see flashing lights due to stimulation of the optic nerve. This is normal. Some people may also taste metal fillings when treating around the mouth. Rinsing the mouth with water will remove the taste. Face and neck pointers. Begin face and neck pain as shown for head pain. For face pain, treat the sinuses when indicated. They are located above and below the eyes. Treat both sides. For headaches due to eye strain, treat behind the eyes by placing the probes on each temple, about two to three centimeters behind the eyes, and across an eye from the bridge of the nose to behind the eye on the same side of the head. Pay attention so you don't poke the eye with the probe. For neck pain, include the shoulders by treating across the entire shoulders from the very tips of the shoulders. Treat the neck from side to side across several vertebrae. Arm pain. Make a big X by treating from the front of your shoulder to the back of your hand, then the back of your shoulder to the palm of your hand. Treat directly through your shoulder, front to back. From your back, near your neck to the outside of your upper arm. At least one X pattern across your elbow. At least one X pattern across your wrist. Complete one minute of smaller X's closer in directly around your shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, or other area of pain. For repetitive strain injury or carpal tunnel, treat your arm above your elbow to your palm in addition to local treatment at the wrist. Treat the corresponding area on your other arm three times. Connect your two arms by placing one probe on each arm in several symmetrical places, encompassing your area of pain four times. Back pain. Make a big X by treating from the top of your right shoulder to your left hip or low back, then your left shoulder to your right hip or low back. Then place one probe about two centimeters next to the spine at the level where your pain is and the other on the opposite side on the front near your side. A line drawn between these probes will go right through your spinal nerves. Reverse the sides to make a horizontal X. Repeat the procedure by making another horizontal X, one spinal level above and another below the problem. Also, treat across the back from side to side through the pain area, then again slightly above and below it. 
If you have low back pain radiating down your leg, connect various areas around your low back about 2 centimeters from your spine with your leg at 10 to 15 centimeters intervals with the last furthest placement at the outside of your foot or just past where the pain radiates to. Leg Pain First make two large X's by treating from your upper inner thigh to the outside of your foot, then from your hip to the inside of your foot. For the next X, treat from your low back to the top of your foot, then the upper front of your thigh to the back or bottom of your foot. Complete one minute of smaller X's closer in directly around your hip, knee, ankle, foot or other area of pain. Treat the corresponding area on your other leg three times. Connect your two legs by placing one probe on each in several symmetrical places, encompassing your area of pain four times. Cranial Electrotherapy Stimulation Clean the skin of your earlobes thoroughly and allow them to dry before applying electrodes. Use mild soap and water. Insert L-shaped plug from the ear clip electrodes into the output receptacle on the Alpha Stim 100. The top receptacle is for channel 1, the bottom is for channel 2. First, clean and dry the ends of the ear clips, then peel four self-adhesive felt electrodes off of their protective backing and attach them to the inside of each ear clip electrode as originally packed. Replace electrodes after each treatment. Wet each of the four felt electrodes while attached to the ear clips with about two drops of alpha conducting solution, ACS. Discard the ring around the ACS bottle after opening to seal it tightly and prevent leakage. Clip electrodes on each ear lobe close to the jaw and as high in the lobe as possible. You must always use both clip electrodes to complete the electrical circuit. 20 to 60 minutes is recommended unless otherwise specified by your physician. People who can only tolerate an intensity setting of 2, 200 microamperes or less will generally need more than 20 minutes. Always use 0.5 Hz when using the ear clip electrodes. Be certain the intensity control is all the way down to zero. Turn power on. The LCD will start counting down. Turn intensity up slowly until a comfortable tingling feeling is felt. For some people it is normal not to feel anything. Immediately decrease the intensity if the tingling feeling becomes uncomfortable or if dizziness or nausea develops. Decreasing the intensity should immediately relieve any of these unpleasant feelings and they are not necessary for optimal effect. Some people experience a feeling of heaviness during the early part of treatment. If this occurs, Treatment should be continued until at least two minutes after this feeling lifts and a lighter feeling is experienced even if it takes more than 60 minutes. Sit or lie down and let the Alpha Stim 100 relax you. At the end of the timed cycle, the power will turn off automatically. Use daily for the first two weeks, then three times per week or as directed by your physician. Finally, if the Alpha Stim 100 is not working well for you, contact EPI or your local authorized Alpha Stim distributor for technical support.